okay, let's say I get a cold email and the email says this, this shark vacuum has 15% more suction than traditional vacuums like the Dyson, which means it gets dirt that normal vacuums can't get that's buried deep inside the carpet. And let's say that I'm intrigued by that message and I go to the store and I buy the shark vacuum. And then I do a little test. I take sand and I put some sand over here and some sand over here, the same exact amount of sand. And then I take some rollers and I rub the sand deep into the carpet. And then I take the shark vacuum over here and my Dyson vacuum over here and I go back and forth three times. And then I empty each container into a beaker to see if in fact the shark vacuum delivers on its promise. And lo and behold, what do I find? It does not deliver on the promise. In fact, it's about equal. So what do I do? I return the shark vacuum and I get my money back, no problem. But it doesn't work this way when I get cold emails from SaaS companies that promise the moon and the stars. I get emails all the time that say things like this. We'll give you a return on ad spend of 257%. We will increase your TikTok followers by 30,000 in 30 days. When I email these sellers back and say, that's fantastic. If you don't deliver me 30,000 followers in 30 days, can I get my money back? Can I return the vacuum? The answer is always no. Or some version of, well, you can keep working with us until you get 30,000 followers. Well, I don't wanna keep working with you. I'll be 70 years old. I wanna get my money back and move on with my life. Why is this? Only one thing comes to mind. The companies don't believe in their product because if they did, they would offer a risk reversal. If you're gonna make hypey promises in cold emails, back it up with a risk reversal or don't promise the moon and the stars.